Hi, timer's counting down. Hi, I'm going to do a little review on two portable mid-rise vehicle hoists, also known as scissor lifts. This model is made by Vulcan. I don't know how old it is. I bought it secondhand, and it uh, it uh, has arms that pivot around for the lifting points of the vehicle. Um, it has a single hydraulic ram, hydraulic cylinder in the center. It's powered by air over hydraulic, so air pressure goes in here, or goes in this fitting, goes down to the bottom of the tank, pushes up on a big seal, and so this area fills up with compressed air, about 160 psi, and the mechanical advantage of the diameter of this versus the diameter of this, which is where the hydraulic fluid is, that's where this thing gets a mechanical advantage of about 20 to 1 and drives hydraulic pressure down into the hydraulic ram. So that's this one. Uh, it, it has a beautiful uh, set of casters for moving it around. I've got the casters in the down position, meaning the casters are actually holding the hoist up right now. And look at how easy it is for me to move that with one foot. One foot I can move that thousand pound hoist. So very, very, very convenient to move it. I usually store it under my workbench. Now, you can move over there a little bit, Jay. I've upgraded to a new hoist made by Rotary called a Rotary Revolution. And it's the same kind of idea, um, but just a, a new version of it. It's got lifting arms, four of them. What's nice about these lifting arms is they, they slide in this direction and they also rotate and the lifting pad slides on here. So it's very versatile as far as where you lift it up. It's got two hydraulic rams and it has an integrated locking mechanism right here. This locking mechanism ratchets as the rams go up and push these pistons out. This center piece here slides out of there and here's a cam ratcheting mechanism that will lock it in place as it goes up. You'll hear it clicking every few inches it'll lock in place. Uh, very nice, very heavy duty, also about a thousand pounds and uh, quite a nice piece of gear from an adjustment perspective. This one is powered over uh, with an electric over a hydraulic uh, ram. So this is an electric motor, it's a 110 motor. You can get similar units that are 220. And uh, I think the only difference, well, I don't, I don't, one difference I had heard is that the 220s are faster. But really, uh, it, it lifts a car up in like 30 seconds or less, so I don't really care how, you know, that, that's fine, that's fast enough for me. And so this motor turns a hydraulic pump in here, and this is the hydraulic reservoir. So this one, the new one does go up a bit higher, it goes up about 48 inches. Um, the old one goes up like 35 inches almost, something around there. And, uh, but really I want to focus on how to move these things around. And you saw how easy it was for me to move that hoist. This one is absolutely brutal for me to move. Now, the way you move it, it's got casters on the far end that I don't know if you can see from there, but there are two casters that always touch the ground. And then on this end, this end, I knew those glasses were going to fall, <laughs> This end, you use the, uh, this as a, as a lever to lift it up, and you can pull it forward. Now, as I mentioned, these things are about 1,000 pounds. Yes, I'm able to push down on the handles and lift that part up, and I can actually pull it towards me, but pushing ahead, I'm trying to push ahead, and I actually, the last time I wanted to move this, I had to get some helpers to help me push it under my workbench. It's just absolutely ridiculous to push ahead. Now maybe if I was another, I don't know, I'm 5'9 and 165 pounds, maybe if I was a foot taller and 100 pounds heavier, I could probably have some better leverage, but it's just absolutely ridiculous to move it ahead. So I looked at my old hoist. Sometimes you can't beat tried and true. I looked at my old hoist and the way the casters are set up in that, um, it's, it's completely balanced. Look at how perfectly balanced that thousand pound hoist is right there with the casters in that position. So I checked on this hoist, and, and by the way, Rotary makes this hoist. Um, there are tons and tons of companies that make similar types of hoists. A lot of them are Chinese. I think this is made in the USA, perhaps. I'm not sure. And I don't see any other different setup. It's always the same with that and these casters, which is just foolish. So what I did was I took a caster, it, it had the, the sides to the caster, and then this is an integrated, uh, this was welded on the caster. 
And then I, I cut a piece of angle iron and welded it like that. Four so there's minutes. a channel. Okay, all right, thanks. And then I took a heavy piece of plate and cut a piece of angle iron like that. So now these things go together and lock in. Oops. They lock in like that. Not lock in, but they slide in this track. And now you don't need to worry about the caster doing this or this. It's, it's in there. So the next thing I'm going to do is weld this plate right on here, which is almost the midpoint of the hoist. And so it should be reasonably well balanced right there. I'm going to weld this plate right on there. And this plate will be permanently welded there, and these casters will be removable. When I want to move the hoist on the casters, I raise the hoist, I slide this caster in place, and then I drop it down on the caster. Low battery. And my assumption is that it will, uh, it will actually um, stay in place. If not, I'll drill it and pin this so that these things don't come apart. So that's, uh, that's what I plan to do. I'll, po I'll post some comments on how successful it was uh, after, uh, after I'm done the welding job. Yeah.